finding data within the NHL API. The entire purpose of this video is a real quick example of how to take something from the NHL website and find where it gets the data within the API. This all started thanks to a Twitter user, Dan Danlock, who happened to hit me up today with a request for some information on shift changes. So let's go ahead and look at what he was after. He was looking for this report, but he wanted the data. The simplest way to do that is to open the Inspect Element screen. I'm using Firefox. Similar tools exist for Chrome. Go to the Network tab and reload this page. Scrolls us all the way to the bottom once it's done loading, and we start working up until we see this. The keyword here being the uh, Cayenne expression. This is where all the information comes from. We've already got a tab open. We can go right here and we can see here's an example of the data returned and it's got about 789 items for this particular game. I haven't went into depth on some of the fields. Some are obvious if you've looked at the API documentation. The game ID, first name, last name, some of the details uh, I believe it, uh, this is, I don't, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but exactly what the person was looking for, easily found. This also led to finding a new API endpoint that I previously had not known about. From the main page of the NHL website, we view a game. We'll take uh, Caps versus Carolina. We click on the Game Center link. This loads up and we see up top this very handy little view showing who leads what series, so on. Viewing the network view just like we did for the others, we see this right here. This looks suspiciously like something that would have that information. So we click on it. Here it is. Select and create a new tab and paste it. And there it is, showing it's broken down. I'll collapse it all and expand it piece by piece. We're in the first round. It actually starts at zero. The names, uh, format information, pretty straightforward. Everybody knows this. And then each series, uh, series zero, we can expand it further. And it shows us Tampa versus Columbus. We get names. Here's the short names. If you need that. If we go to round, shows number, and then series record. This is where we can see wins and losses per team. There are additional ways to expand this information further, but it's kind of out of the scope of this video. So, hopefully, everybody who sees this found it useful. If you need help or have a question, comment, suggestion, found something awesome. I'm trying to be very responsive on Twitter and I'm always keeping an eye out on my email for updates with the GitLab repo. Hit me up, open an issue, pull requests, get taken care of pretty quickly, and I hope everyone found this useful. Thank you.